At first, Hanju was very nervous and thought that this fellow was going to devour him. But he quickly discovered that it was not the case. When the strange deity touched the dermic powers in his body, his dermic powers instantly boiled and began to become stronger. It was as if there was some kind of resonance. Even the great Tao of life and death in Hanju's body began to resonate, increasing the speed at which he fused with his dermic powers. This is... Hanju was pleasantly surprised. He didn't expect the strange deity to be so useful. He had always thought that the strange deity was an assassin, but he didn't expect it to be a support. Hanju remained cautious and continued to observe. The strange deity was indeed helping him increase his dermic powers and even fuse with the great Tao of life and death. This was... Helping him reach the zenith heaven realm? Can strange deity be so useful? Hanju asked in his heart, will it harm me by doing this? A billion years of lifespan will be deducted. Do you want to continue? Continue! No! Hanju heaved a sigh of relief. It didn't even say for the time being. Even so, Hanju still maintained his rationality and stared at it seriously. Time passed. Half a year later. The strange deity had completely fused into Hanju's body and become one with him. Although they were fused together, Hanju could feel the strange deity's existence and could expel it out of his body at any time. It formed a strange bridge in Hanju's body. With its help, his dermic powers and the great Tao of life and death were rapidly fusing. At this rate, he would reach the zenith heaven realm quickly. Hanju was very excited after thinking about it. He had a 5-star favorability towards the strange deity. It seemed that his decision to subdue it was correct. Just like that, Hanju focused on becoming a zenith heaven cultivator and ignored what was happening outside. In an ancient stone hall in the immortal world, Li Daokong, Li Xianao, and Huang Jihao slowly walked forward. Stone statues were standing on both sides. They were the past human emperors, and all of them had extraordinary divine might. Huang Jihao walked at the back and curiously sized up his surroundings. Li Xianao asked in a low voice, they don't seem to respect us. Li Daogong's expression did not change as he said, it's fine. Let them see. We can test our strength. The three of them advanced and arrived in front of a huge stone tablet. This stone tablet was 10,000 feet tall. There were all sorts of red patterns engraved on it, as if it recorded the history of the development of the human race. With just a glance, one could feel that it was magnificent, like an epic. Li Daokong stopped. Li Xianao and Huang Jihao also stopped. The stone tablet shone and figures walked out. The leader was a white-haired old man with long eyebrows that covered his eyes. He chuckled and said, Greetings, two immortal masters of the human school. Li Xianao snorted. Instead of welcoming us personally, you're still spying on us. Do you think we can't sense it? Or are you afraid of us? Of course I'm afraid. The two of you shocked the myriad worlds. How can we mortals not be afraid? Humph. Li Xianao's expression softened. Li Daokong said, against Jade Emperor Zhou Yan, the humans can join forces with the human school. The white-haired elder asked, what about the Chan and Jie schools? Clearly, he did not believe in their strength. That was Jade Emperor Zhou Yan, a mighty figure who had recently suppressed the immortal world. Li Daokong stomped his right foot and a sword appeared behind him. It emitted a dazzling purple light, and a terrifying sword aura spread out. The stone statues of all the emperors in the hall began to shake violently, including the 10,000-foot stone tablet in front. All the mighty figures were moved. What a terrifying sword, Chi! No wonder he could become the eldest disciple of the human school. It seems that the rumors are true. Jade Emperor Zhou Yan can't do anything to him. Where did that sword come from? My dermic powers can't help but be attracted by it. This aura. Has he really just stepped into the zenith heaven realm? The human mighty figures communicated with their divine sense. Most of them were afraid. The white-haired elder smiled. The humans are willing to join forces with the human school.
Li Xianyo snorted disdainfully. They changed their tone so quickly. Huang Jihao looked at Li Daokong in admiration. Uncle Master was much more capable than his master. The longer he spent with Li Daokong, the more he admired him. His master, Li Xianyo, was not good. He bullied the weak and spoke too much. If not for Li Daokong, Li Xianyo would have died thousands of times. Jade Emperor Zhou Yan wants to slaughter all living beings. The humans can spread the news, Li Daokong continued. The white-haired elder asked in surprise, is this true? Li Daokong said calmly, so what if it's true? The white-haired elder was silent. Ten years later, Hanju's dermic powers and the great Tao of life and death had completely fused. In his body, brand new dermic powers began to condense into a zenith heaven Tao fruit. As long as he succeeded, he would step into the zenith heaven realm. However, condensing the zenith heaven Tao fruit required time. The dermic powers of a zenith heaven were extremely vast, so it was naturally not possible to succeed in a short period of time. Fortunately, Hanju did not need to control it personally. The zenith heaven Tao fruit would automatically condense. Hanju got up and walked out of the cave abode. Prepare for the Tao preaching. Hanju's voice resounded throughout the island, causing everyone to be excited, including the 10,000 nether race beings. The nether race couldn't reproduce. Their population had never changed. Their potential was not bad. The weakest had already reached the Grand Unity Heaven Immortal Realm. Hanju sat down under the Fusong tree. Dao Comprehension Sword came to his side and asked curiously, Master, your eyes. The others also looked at Hanju in surprise. When he heard that, he couldn't help but carefully check. He discovered that his pupils had turned purple. It was not temporary, but permanent, making him look even more mysterious. Not only his pupils, but thin black patterns also appeared between his eyebrows. They fluttered like tentacles. Hanju said, it's only a realm. You don't understand. Dao Comprehension Sword did not say much. Hanju noticed that Li Yao and Tu Ling'er looked at him strangely as if they wanted to eat him. Fairy Xixian and Chang Yuan also walked out of their cave abode. When they saw Hanju, they couldn't help but be stunned. Hanju began to preach the Tao. The moment his voice sounded, everyone's souls shook and they entered Tao Comprehension State one after another. Zenith Heaven's Voice Although Hanju had yet to completely enter the Zenith Heaven Realm, his voice already had the Tao insight of the Zenith Heaven Realm. Even the Nether Race members were entranced. Time passed quickly. In the blink of an eye. Eight years passed. Hanju had yet to condense his Zenith Heaven Tao fruit, so he planned to continue preaching and sort out his Tao during the process. At this moment, three lines of words suddenly appeared in front of him. Detected that a sage has entered the world. You have the following choices. 1. Immediately enter the calamity and challenge the sage. You will win great providence and obtain a great Tao fragment and a mystical power inheritance. 2. Avoid the calamity for the time being and cultivate in peace. You can obtain a great Tao fragment. A sage had entered the world? Han Zhu immediately chose the second option and obtained a great Tao fragment. He thought, I want to know, which sage has entered the world? Five billion years of lifespan will be deducted. Do you want to continue? Continue! Fuke Sishin, Cultivation Unknown Heavenly Tao Sage, Ancestor of the Human Race, Immeasurable Emperor, Ancestor of the Eight Trigrams. Because he was summoned by the Human Race, he used his Dharma Idol to enter the world and avoid the Heavenly Secrets. He wants to help the human race obtain great providence. Fuke Sishin The legendary emperor Fushi in the mythology? Since he was helping the human race, Hanju was relieved. At least Xing Hongxian would be fine. Perhaps Fuk Sishin would even deal with Jade Emperor Zhou Yan. Hanju was looking forward to it. After understanding it, he continued to preach. Time flew. Another 10 years passed. After Hanju finished his lecture, he didn't leave immediately. 
Instead, he stayed under the Fusong tree and faced the east. The other disciples were still in a state of Tao comprehension and could not extricate themselves for the time being. Most of the Zenith Heaven Tao fruit in Hanju's body had already condensed. The strange deity flew out from his body and looked at the Fusong tree. It flew around the tree trunk quite cheerfully. No one could sense the strange deity's existence, including the Fusong tree. After the strange deity left his body, the black pattern between Hanju's eyebrows disappeared, but his pupils were still purple. Hanju didn't stop the strange deity. After this fusion, the strange deity already had his dermic powers. They could use the dermic powers together. Hanju used his dermic powers to isolate it from the strange power and prevent the Fusong tree from being destroyed. Hanju's gaze landed on the strange deity. He could feel that he had already completely gained control of the strange deity. From now on, he could erase its intelligence at any time and absorb it, turning it into his own power. However, the strange deity had helped him greatly. He naturally wouldn't be so heartless. I wonder how strong this kid will be in the future. Hanju thought expectantly. The strange deity's current strength was difficult to figure out. If he said that it was strong, it was actually just so. If he said that it was not strong, then it was not strong. Other than the primordial physique, no one could spy on it. No matter what, the strange deity's potential was definitely terrifying. After all, it had inherited the chaotic fiend celestial's providence. Since he had nothing to do, Hanju checked the emails. Recently, he had been condensing the Zenith Heaven Dao fruit. Hanju didn't dare to use his dermic powers to curse Jade Emperor Zhou Yan. He didn't know how the situation in the immortal world was. Your good friendly Dao Kong was attacked by your enemy Jade Emperor Zhou Yan. Your good friend Zhou Fan was attacked by a mysterious mighty figure. Your good friend Ji Xian Shen was attacked by demons. X189900. Your disciple Su Qi has absorbed the dark power and his cultivation has increased greatly. Your good friend Di Lan Tian was attacked by your enemy Jade Emperor Zhou Yan. He sacrificed his soul to sound the Emperor Ancestral Bell. Your good friend Dao Ancestor's providence has decreased. Your good friend Tai Su Tian has received guidance from a sage. Her cultivation has increased greatly. In short, the immortal world was relatively calm and the battles were not intense. Jade Emperor Zhou Yan seemed to have stopped recently. Hanju checked his interpersonal relationships. The friends he cared about were still there. When I reach the Zenith Heaven Realm, I'll offer Jade Emperor Zhou Yan 100 billion years of my lifespan. Let's see if you can withstand it. Hanju thought silently. He suddenly thought of the Heavenly Emperor. He could visit him in his dreams and ask about his situation. Using the Dark Nightmare did not consume Dermic powers. He only needed to use his divine sense. Soon, Hanju created a dream. When he saw the Heavenly Emperor again, he looked much thinner and his eyes were dark. The Heavenly Emperor was not moved when he saw Hanju, who had transformed into the Dark Forbidden Lord. He slowly sat down and asked, What's the matter? He began to adjust his dragon robe, and the Heavenly Emperor's temperament quickly recovered. Hanju asked, other than Jade Emperor Zhou Yan, do you have no other backing? He remembered that the Heavenly Emperor had been to Kunlun. Previously, in front of the Great Ultimate Hall, the Heavenly Emperor had also been chatting and laughing with many mighty figures. The Heavenly Emperor smiled. You want me to deal with Jade Emperor Zhou Yan? Hanju didn't answer but asked with a smile, Jade Emperor, aren't you going to show yourself? With that said, Jade Emperor Zhou Yan appeared. Hanju cursed silently. Bastard! He was indeed here! Jade Emperor Zhou Yan asked, Have you thought it through? In the past few decades, the Dark Forbidden Lord had not cursed him. He had thought that he had chickened out. Hanju asked, Do you know that a sage has descended into the mortal world? Jade Emperor Zhou Yan was silent. The Heavenly Emperor was moved. The reason why Hanju said this was to intimidate Jade Emperor Zhou Yan and prevent him from slaughtering all living beings in advance. 
Although Jade Emperor Zhou Yan had the intention to slaughter the world, all the races in the immortal world had powerful backgrounds. He didn't dare to act rashly. He was still weak in front of a sage. Jade Emperor Zhou Yan asked, Which faction? Han Ju teased, You have to identify them yourself. You still don't have enough pawns, I. See? Jade Emperor Zhou Yan's hatred towards you has increased. Current hatred points, stars. Great! This was irresolvable except for death. Jade Emperor Zhou Yan hated the Dark Forbidden Lord. Han Ju had given him a hint because they had seen each other in the dream. As long as Jade Emperor Zhou Yan did not know that the Dark Forbidden Lord was him, he would be fearless. This was a little. Han Ju inexplicably thought of his high spirits when he surfed the internet in his previous life. Jade Emperor Zhou Yan asked, Can we really only be enemies? Han Ju said, If you don't threaten me, I won't threaten you either. Jade Emperor Zhou Yan smiled. Han Ju also smiled and didn't say anything. The atmosphere fell silent again. After a long while, Jade Emperor Zhou Yan said, The power of your curse is too weak. Could it be that you're not even a Zenith Heaven Cultivator and only rely on the Supreme Treasure to curse your enemy? Han Ju said, I'm waiting for an opportunity. Jade Emperor Zhou Yan fell silent again. This fellow was definitely waiting for him to enter an intense fight. Han Ju suddenly ended the dream, and his consciousness returned to reality. After confirming that the Heavenly Emperor was fine, he also messed with Jade Emperor Zhou Yan. It was about time. Next, Jade Emperor Zhou Yan shouldn't dare to cause trouble anymore. Han Ju could reach the Zenith Heaven Realm in peace. Sometime later, the disciples of the hidden sect woke up one after another. Han Ju returned to his cave abode. Year after year passed. Twenty years later, Han Ju's Zenith Heaven Dao fruit completely condensed. All his dermic powers were sucked into it. Oh! The entire cultivate diligently become immortal mountain began to shake violently. A vast pressure swept through the Dao field, shocking everyone on the island. Chu Shuren widened his eyes and muttered, Zenith Heaven. Too fast. How long had it been? Han Ju had been hiding on the island and could still break through at lightning speed. Although his voice was soft, everyone heard him clearly. Sun Chang'an, the black hell chicken, and the others who were with Han Ju the earliest couldn't help but show admiration and yearning. How old was Han Ju? What? He's already at the Zenith Heaven Realm? Jiang Yi exclaimed in disbelief. The first time they met, Han Ju wasn't even at the Immortal Emperor Realm. Now, he was still in the Emperor Realm, but Han Ju had already surpassed the Deity Realm and reached the Zenith Heaven Realm? What a joke! Could this fellow really be the Dao ancestor? That stinky chicken wasn't joking? At the same time, in the cave abode, Han Ju was drowned by a purple pillar of light. His soul began to transform. Zenith Heaven Realm. He transcended the heavens. Han Ju was extremely happy as he felt the strange changes in his body and soul. The Zenith Heaven Realm was finally reached. At the Zenith Heaven Realm, with one thought, he could manipulate the heavens, space and time, and even fate. After reaching this realm, one could exist forever below the heavenly Tao. Of course, if they were attacked by a stronger force, Zenith Heaven experts would still die. Only Zenith Heaven or existences that surpassed Zenith Heaven could defeat Zenith Heaven. The rules of the heavenly Tao could not directly kill Zenith Heaven. This was the Zenith Heaven realm. Several days later, Han Ju's full dermic powers fused into the Zenith Heaven Tao fruit. A strange power of the Great Tao enveloped his body. He succeeded! Zenith Heaven Realm! Feeling his body transform, Han Ju almost wanted to roar. How satisfying! The last time it felt so good was when he was at the Mortal Transcendence Realm. In terms of power alone, Han Ju felt a thousand times stronger than before. His divine sense was the same, but he still couldn't spy on the Dark Forbidden Zone. Han Ju checked his attributes panel as he consolidated his cultivation. Name, Han Ju. Race, 
primordial fiend celestial. Cultivation, early stage zenith heaven golden immortal realm. Technique, primordial chaos reincarnation great Tao, heavenly cycle body tempering. Great Tao, great Tao of life and death, great Tao of karma. The zenith heaven realm was also called the zenith heaven golden immortal realm. There was only one major realm, and it was divided into the early, middle, late, and perfect stages. Hanju felt extremely comfortable when he saw the words Zenith Heaven Golden Immortal. His lifespan increased by two digits. Ten quintillions. Almost eternal. Hanju wondered if the Heavenly Tao could exist for so many years. Detected that you have reached the Zenith Heaven Golden Immortal Realm. The system has begun to upgrade. Hanju was pleasantly surprised when he saw this line of words. Although he hadn't obtained the Great Tao Fragment and the Heavenly Tao Spirit Stone, the system's upgrade meant that the Tao field had been upgraded. It would make him safer. After becoming a Zenith Heaven Cultivator, Hanju could also protect himself. He was no longer a weakling who could be controlled by anyone. Hanju consolidated his cultivation after spending seven years. He imprisoned the strange deity in the 36th grade reincarnation world destruction Black Lotus. The first thing he did was curse Jade Emperor Zhou Yan with the Book of Misfortune. Didn't you mock me that my curse was not strong enough? You even said that I didn't reach the Zenith Heaven Realm. Now that I've reached the Zenith Heaven Realm, are you prepared to withstand the anger of a hundred billion years? Hanju smiled frivolously. He had the right to be proud as a 6,000-year-old Zenith Heaven cultivator. Zenith Heaven Dermic powers poured into the Book of Misfortune. It emitted a black light that shone on Hanju's face. The black light flickered in the Khanate Cave abode, looking ghastly and terrifying. Five days later, Hanju's lifespan started to reduce. He opened his attributes panel and stared at his lifespan carefully. It was descending so quickly. In less than five minutes, he had lost 10 billion years of his lifespan. However, having reached the Zenith Heaven Realm, he did not feel any discomfort. He continued cursing. In a palace, Jade Emperor Zhou Yan sat at the head of the table. All the forces were gathered here. Fang Liang, Long Hao, Xuan Mingdi, Di Long Tian, King of Hell, Divine Might Buddha, and so on were the leaders of the various forces. They were discussing the region of the immortal world, but the humans did not come. Jade Emperor Zhou Yan did not interrupt. His expression was rather ugly. Xuan Mingyi noticed the change in his expression and couldn't help but ask, Your Majesty, what's wrong? Everyone looked at Jade Emperor Zhou Yan. This was the first time they had seen him reveal such an expression. Jade Emperor Zhou Yan replied, I'm fine. Continue. He was circulating his energy to resist the strange curse. He knew that the Dark Forbidden Lord was beginning to make a move. This curse was far stronger than before. However, Jade Emperor Zhou Yan did not dare to disband the meeting immediately. Otherwise, he would expose a flaw. Are you being cursed by the Dark Forbidden Lord? Xuan Mingdi asked, pretending to be terrified. He was extremely excited. The Dark Forbidden Lord finally attacked. The others revealed strange expressions. If this was true, it would be a good thing for them. However, they did not dare to show it. Jade Emperor Zhou Yan snorted coldly. The Dark Forbidden Lord is only a worm hiding in the dark. His curse can't hurt me at all. These words were equivalent to a disguised admission. Xuan Mingdi almost cheered, but he restrained himself. He wasn't the only one. Jing Tiangong, who represented the Jia school, was also excited. In the current immortal world, who could resist Jade Emperor Zhou Yan below the sages? Other than the Dark Forbidden Lord, who else was there? Boom! A terrifying pressure attacked from outside the hall. The door turned to dust and a figure stepped over with a sword. Sword shadows appeared under his feet and his white robe fluttered. He was handsome. Who else could it be but Li Dao Kong? Jade Emperor Zhou Yan, our battle is not over. Li Dao Gong's eyes were cold and his tone was filled with killing intent. 
the masters of the various factions in the hall were moved. What a powerful aura! They had heard that Li Daokong was fighting with Jade Emperor Zhou Yan. They didn't expect to see him today. Amitba! The human school has really taken in a good disciple with unparalleled talent. Divine Might Buddha sighed. Everyone was stunned by Li Daokong's aura. Jade Emperor Zhou Yan sneered. Li Daokong, you're not my match at all. If not for the sage protecting you, you would have died long ago. Li Daokong continued forward as he stared at him. A huge battle was about to break out. Inside the Khanate cave abode. Han Ju cursed as he stared at the attributes panel. He had already lost 50 billion years of his lifespan. He still did not feel any discomfort, so he continued cursing. 60 billion years. 70 billion years. 80 billion years. Han Ju's breathing quickened. It wasn't the backlash of the curse, but his heart ached. This was the first time he had consumed so much lifespan. Most importantly, Jade Emperor Zhou Yan had yet to be cursed. Continue. I don't believe it. Han Zhu gritted his teeth and persisted. 90 billion years. 100 billion years. Boom. The Book of Misfortune rumbled like an ancient ferocious beast was roaring. Wisps of black aura visible to the naked eye overflowed and wrapped around him. Han Zhu was surprised. What was this? This black aura was somewhat familiar. Wait! Isn't this strange deity's black aura? Could it be that the strange deity was related to the curse? His lifespan decreased rapidly. 110 billion years. Because of your curse, your enemy Jade Emperor Zhou Yan lost control of his dermic powers. Misfortune surrounded him and he developed mental demons. He was finally cursed successfully. Han Zhu hurriedly stopped. The black aura around him was absorbed by the Book of Misfortune and the black light vanished. Han Zhu hurriedly checked his state to see if the black aura had any effect on him. Fortunately, it did not affect him at all. Perhaps it was because he had stopped in time, or perhaps it was related to the fusion of the strange deity. If Jade Emperor Zhou Yan has developed a mental demon, he isn't far from death. It's time for the outcome of the calamity to change, right? Han Ju hesitated. Should he calculate the outcome of the calamity? Don't be a bad outcome again. Apart from him being able to change the calamity, sages could also do the same. Forget it. I should at least avoid some kind of risk. I want to know who is the greatest winner of this calamity. Han Ju thought silently. Three billion years of lifespan will be deducted. Do you want to continue? Han Ju wanted to see what changes would happen in the future. After Jade Emperor Zhou Yan collapsed, would a new overlord appear? Han Ju entered the illusion. For some reason, Han Ju felt that this forest looked familiar. Could it be the cultivate diligently become a mortal mountain? Wait! The final winner was him? Han Ju was about to walk forward when he saw two people walking out of the Daoist temple. One of them was Han Ju, and the other was Li Daokong. Han Ju heaved a sigh of relief. It was really him. That's good! The future Han Ju stopped and said, I'll send you here. Li Daokong turned around and smiled. Your master is leaving. Aren't you going to send me off? You're the next eldest disciple of the human school. You have to be polite. Han Ju showed a frown. What the heck? Would he become the eldest disciple of the human school in the future? The future Han Ju said helplessly, Yes, master. <gasps> the greatest winner was not Han Ju, but Li Dao Kong? Han Ju was dumbfounded. Something was wrong with this script. Li Dao Kong raised his eyebrows and said, What? Are you unwilling? I didn't force you to join the human school. Who asked you to offend a sage? The future Han Ju asked. Has that sage really stopped? As long as the sage of the human school is still around, he won't dare to act recklessly. Fine. The scene shattered. Han Ju returned to reality and frowned. After the calamity ended, he had no choice but to seek refuge with the human school because he had offended a sage? This was not good. 
Han Chu didn't want to join any sage sect. That would result in great karma, and he would lose his freedom. Most importantly, a sage secretly was watching him. How could he be at ease? No! He had to be more cautious. Could it be because he had obtained the Zenith Heaven Dao fruit that he had become arrogant and offended a sage? Han Ju wanted to prevent this from happening I want to know who the sage I offended is. Han Ju asked in his heart. Unable to derive the sage's future karma of a situation that has yet to happen. This will alarm the sage. Han Ju frowned again. Were sages so impressive? Forget it. Han Ju stopped thinking. He would wait for the system to upgrade first. He put away the Book of Misfortune and released the strange deity. Next, he began to improve his various mystical powers. All of them reached their limits after a year. Han Ju didn't enter the simulation trial directly. Instead, he cultivated the Grand Unity aspect. After reaching the Zenith Heaven Realm, he should be able to cultivate a new Dharma idol. Even if it was only one, it could increase his combat strength greatly. The Grand Unity aspect was extremely profound. Fortunately, Han Ju could already completely understand the cultivation method of the first Dharma idol. A full 10 years passed. Han Ju finally mastered the first chaotic fiend celestial Dharma idol. The heavenly constellation fiend celestial Dharmic powers had immense strength. His fist could break through the Great Tao. Of course, this was his limit. Han Ju was only at the zenith heaven realm, so his heavenly constellation fiend celestial dharma idol was naturally not that terrifying. After succeeding, Han Ju immediately entered the simulation trial and challenged Li Dao Kong. After entering the battle, Han Ju directly used the heavenly constellation fiend celestial dharma idol. A dark and mighty figure condensed above his head and punched out. Li Dao Kong was obliterated. Instant kill. Awesome. Han Ju felt the domineering pleasure of destroying all techniques with one move. He began the simulation trial. No deity realm existence could withstand the heavenly constellation Fian Celestial's punch. Unless he had the protection of a supreme treasure, it was similarly difficult for anyone below the late stage Zenith Heaven Golden Immortal Realm to withstand his punch. The Heavenly Emperor was at the mid-stage Zenith Heaven Golden Immortal Realm. He had a Dharma treasure, but he was still killed after 10 punches. At the early stage Golden Immortal Realm, Xuan Mingyi had been insta-killed. After fighting for a few days, Han Ju had been familiarizing himself with the Heavenly Constellation Fian Celestial's fighting style. In short, he was very surprised. The Grand Unity aspect was too powerful. Just the first one was already so domineering. If 3,000 appeared at once, how terrifying would that be? Could he destroy the entire Great Dao alone? Han Ju felt very excited just thinking about it. Next, he began to comprehend the Zenith Heaven Realm. After reaching this realm, Han Ju could clearly sense various invisible rules, such as space and time. Now, he could easily enter space-time and travel through the past and future. However, his intuition told him that doing so would result in great karma. Thus, he couldn't rashly proceed. Not only could he transmigrate through time, but Han Ju could also see the River of Destiny, hanging high above all living beings. It didn't exist in the myriad worlds but on another level. The Eye of Zenith Heaven could see it at a glance. This space was extremely mysterious and could not be deduced with common sense. Those below the Zenith Heaven Realm could not directly spy on it. Han Ju was very curious about how those non-Zenith Heavens entered the River of Destiny. The River of Destiny did not look that weak. When Han Ju was still comprehending the Zenith Heaven Realm, the immortal world stirred again. The human race had risen. Heavenly Court, Numinous Palace. Fang Liang sat on the Emperor's throne. There were fewer immortals in the hall than in the past. He looked rather carefree. At the front were the Heavenly God General, the Martial God General, Ji Xianshen, Li Dao Kong, and the others. A white-haired old immortal bowed and said, Your Majesty, the human race has risen. Jade Emperor Zhou Yan is in seclusion. 
This will be a good opportunity for the Heavenly Core to rest. Don't enter the Calamity again. The other immortals nodded. After experiencing the Jade Emperor Zhou Yan's Calamity, the Heavenly Court had suffered heavy losses. They were all afraid. Fang Liang said calmly, I know what to do, but I can't rest completely. Opportunities are always fleeting in the immeasurable calamity. I've decided to recruit immortal gods from overseas. What do you think, my dear subjects? Overseas? The immortals were in an uproar. The heavenly god general praised, previously, the outer seas were dominated by the Jia school and the true dragon race. Now, the Jia school is hiding in the Nine Nether Purgatory. After the true dragon race joined the dragon court, they raised their race and fought. There are indeed no forces overseas who can make decisions. Since ancient times, there have been many hidden cultivators overseas. The moment he spoke, the heavenly generals expressed their support. The literature immortals looked at each other, but no one jumped out to refute. In the Calamity, the Heavenly Generals had greater authority. Fang Liang looked at Li Daokong and asked, What do you think, fellow Daoist Li? Li Daokong smiled and said, The human school supports the Heavenly Court. If your majesty feels that it's not convenient, I can personally go overseas and use my sword to recruit immortals. He spoke very casually, but the group of gods could sense his dominance. No one doubted it, because Li Daokong was a powerful existence who had defeated Jade Emperor Zhou Yan. That's right! The reason why Jade Emperor Zhou Yan was in seclusion was that he had been repelled by Li Daokong. Although Xuan Mingdi said that it was due to the Dark Forbidden Lord, Jade Emperor Zhou Yan was indeed defeated by Li Daokong. After this battle, Li Daogong's name shook the immortal world and he became the number one sword immortal in the immortal world. He was in the limelight. Fang Liang ordered, then, I won't trouble fellow Daoist Li. Martial God General, Ji Xianshen, the two of you will bring 5,000 heavenly soldiers. You can choose a literature immortal to help. In the blink of an eye, 30 years passed. The system finally succeeded in upgrading and interrupted Han Zhu's attention. System upgrade successful. The Dao field has been upgraded. The array formation has been upgraded to the Pseudo Sage realm. The Dao field's internal space has been expanded. Dao field immortal chi has increased by 10 times. Khanate chi has increased by 5 times. The Dao field can block the prying of heavenly Dao level divine sense. The system has added a new guard. You can completely duplicate a Zenith Heaven Expert in the simulation trial as a guard. He will listen to you. The guard cannot leave the Dao field for more than an hour. Otherwise, he will directly melt. T his chapter is upped at D by NOV, E, L, by and Co M it took decades to successfully upgrade. Hanju took a look and was pleasantly surprised. The safety of the Dao field had increased greatly with the pseudo sage formation. Not only that, but it could also block the divine sense of a heavenly Dao existence. Hanju felt a strong sense of security. In that case, as long as he did not go out, he couldn't die in the calamity. Hanju began to choose the second guard's template. At the same time, the spirit chi and kane chi in the Dao field began to increase. The disciples thought that Hanju was using a mystical power, so they were not shocked. After all, this was not the first time. After hesitating for a long time, Hanju still decided to choose Zhu Tu as the template. After all, he was once the number one in the immeasurable calamity. He was equivalent to the strongest person in the zenith heaven. At this rate, will I create an army of Zhu Tus? Hanju thought sinisterly. Although Zhu Tu was dead, he was still alive. It also took time to duplicate the guard. Hanju continued to comprehend the zenith heaven Dao. Ever since he broke through, he had never started cultivating. He had always been sensing the Zenith Heaven Dao fruit. The Zenith Heaven Dao fruit was all-encompassing. It contained countless truths of the world and the rules of the Heavenly Dao, causing one to sink into it. The Zenith Heaven Golden Immortal was not only powerful in terms of dermic powers, but he also had other mysterious advantages. 
If he completely understood them, he would be omnipotent to a certain extent. Five years later, the second guard was successfully generated. Han Zhu named it Ma Chao. First, there was Lu Bu of the Three Kingdoms, then there was Ma Chao. He had assembled a set. When Ma Chao walked out of the Khanate cave abode, everyone was stunned. They finally realized that Lu Bu was really not Zhu Tu. He had really died. It was just that Han Zhu used some powerful mystical power to create a new Zhu Tu. Not only did Ma Chao look identical to Zhu Tu, but his aura was also extremely terrifying. Chu Shiren, Morong Chi, Li Yao, Tu Ling'er, and the other talented disciples were all stunned. They felt that they might not be important to Han Zhu. He could already create powerful subordinates that far exceeded them. Why nurture them? In other words, Han Zhu treated them with sincerity. Thinking of this, they were even more grateful to him. After Ma Chao went out, Han Zhu received several notifications that his favorability had increased. He couldn't help but be baffled. Not minding it, he continued to comprehend the Zenith Heaven Dao fruit. Han Zhu opened his eyes again as Xing Hongxian used the invocation technique to summon him. He checked his attributes panel and discovered that another 43 years had passed. He couldn't help but sigh. To the Zenith Heaven Golden Immortals, each of their naps could last as long as several dynasties. Han Zhu stepped into the Black Vortex and arrived at Xing Hongshuan's chamber. He discovered that Kane Qi had appeared in her chamber, and it was very dense. Seeing Han Zhu appear, Xing Hongxian immediately came up and smiled. Husband, you're finally here. She pulled him to the table and sat down. Noticing his purple pupils, she was secretly shocked. Husband had broken through again. She didn't ask about this. Instead, she began to talk about her experiences during this period of time. A hundred years ago, the human race welcomed a sacred ancestor. Under the sacred ancestor's mystical power, the providence of the human race increased greatly. The immortal chi in the area continued to increase, causing the cultivation of the human cultivators to usher in an explosive period. Now, the humans had greater ambitions. The human race wanted to eradicate all the races and sects with providence. They would control the heavenly Tao alone. Hanju was speechless. The humans had also become arrogant. Hanju thought of the previous demon court, heavenly court, divine palace, and dragon court. At this rate, wouldn't the calamity be endless? Xing Hongxian asked, Husband, do you think I should take over the authority? Hanju asked, What authority? Xing Hongxian took a deep breath and said, The authority of the human emperor. She looked at Hanju nervously. She knew that this thought of hers was very daring. No one would believe it, especially Hanju. He was so afraid of trouble. Would he cut ties with her because of this? However, Hanju was not surprised or even indifferent. Up to you. <sighs> Husband isn't worried about me? What's there to worry about? Even if you die outside, I won't be sad. TCH, you're stubborn. I told you to come back long ago. If you don't, I can respect your will. But you can forget about dragging me to death with you. Although Hanju said it heartlessly, Xing Hongxian was not sad. She wasn't stupid. If Hanju was really heartless, she would have already reincarnated more than 10 times. Xing Hongxian smiled and said, Don't worry, husband. If I die, I won't implicate you. If I succeed, whatever you want in the future, as long as I can do it, I will definitely satisfy you. I can even drive the entire human race to do things for you. Han Zhu snorted. Be careful. The battle for the human emperor isn't that easy. Hee <laughs> hee, I know. Seeing her smile so confidently, Han Zhu couldn't help but guess. Did Niuo say something to her? It was very likely. Although Xing Hongxian was bold, she never did anything she was not confident of. After Han Zhu thought it through, he didn't stop her. As long as Niuo had no ill intentions towards him and her, so what if he accepted this favor? Sages also needed good karma. 
Han Ju began to guide Xing Hongxian in her cultivation and impart his personal experience. A year later, Han Ju returned to the Khanate cave abode. He walked out and prepared to preach the Tao for the hidden sect. The strange deity followed behind him like a shadow. Hearing that he was going to preach the Tao, all the disciples gathered and waited expectantly. Han Ju began to preach the Tao and LED everyone into a state of Tao comprehension. Nine years passed in a flash. Han Ju didn't answer the disciples' questions anymore. Instead, he turned around and returned to the Khanate cave abode. He placed the strange deity into the 36th grade reincarnation world destruction Black Lotus and took out the Book of Misfortune. I haven't cared about you for a long time. This time, I'll care twice as much. Han Ju thought silently. Jade Emperor Zhou Yan's hatred for him had already reached six stars. He had to kill this fellow. Otherwise, there would be no end to trouble. He had also been paying attention to emails. Jade Emperor Zhou Yan had been quiet for decades. In the past few years, he had begun to become active again. He had just attacked Li Daokong not long ago. Han Ju had said before as the Dark Forbidden Lord that he cared about Li Daokong. He had to put on a show and use this excuse to kill Jade Emperor Zhou Yan. Five days later, Han Ju began to consume his lifespan. 10 billion years. 20 billion years. 50 billion years. 80 billion years. 100 billion years. This old fellow was still fine. He continued cursing.